The Novelty African Peer Review Mechanism, APRM, is a system introduced by the African Union as a platform for voluntary critical self-assessment based on the standards of good governance. Countries that have chosen to participate assess their own standing according to fixed criteria in four thematic areas democracy and good political governance, economic governance and management, corporate governance, and finally, socioeconomic development. A country that subscribes to the APRM admits in humility that all is not well with me. It also suggests that I am ready to change. And most importantly, it points out that I'll be committed to follow the changes that I have identified. APRM is designed to assess participating countries like Ghana, develop and promote the adoption of laws, policies and practices that lead to political stability, high rates of economic growth, sustainable development and continental integration and continental economic integration. These are hoped to be achieved by sharing experiences and by identifying and promoting best practices. It is African brewed, African owned, for the, and it's for the people of Africa. And it's to ensure that African countries have good governance. Ghana, the first country south of the Sahara to break free of colonial shackles, once again showed continental leadership, becoming the first to submit itself to be peer-reviewed in 2006. We see the passage of the uh, domestic violence bill, uh, disability bill, uh, and so on. But more importantly, the report itself has been grafted to the poverty uh, reduction strategy 2 of Ghana. Encouraged by the successes chalked at the national level, the country has gone even further to consolidate its leadership role by taking the APRM process closer to the people at the local government level. Ghana has set the pace to decentralizing the APRM process with the introduction of the innovative District Oversight Committees DOCs. It is only in Ghana that we don't have any ministerial oversight. It is not under any political leader. Let people run the process where they find themselves. And it is in response to this that Ghana has initiated the District Oversight Committee concept. The, the major principle underlying all this is that it should be the voices of the people nothing else. The innovative aspect of the process is that the administration of questionnaire, collation and analysis of findings will be made by the DOCs made up of ordinary citizens in the district who are responsible for the dissemination of information and the creation of public awareness of the APRM. The support for decentralization reform of the German Development Corporation has been a good partner in this direction. We are in charge of what we are doing, and this is essentially saying that, well, uh, you are our friends, and if you are doing something good, we want to lend a helping hand. To support the process from behind and leaving it its own genuine authenticity, and I think that is very important and it works. And once again, we are also learning from it, we are also getting benefit from it and can use it for other processes to make them even more genuine and more African. The National APRM Governance Council has set up and inaugurated the District Oversight Committees DOCs, across the country to periodically monitor and evaluate the activities of the decentralized system to ensure that they live up to expectations. The Governing Council pays working visits to selected districts in all 10 regions to hold workshops attended by stakeholders in the district to validate draft reports prepared by the district oversight committees. Now these district oversight, oversight committees now have the responsibility to continue with the education, 
and publicization exercise. By taking the views of the people on critical issues as education, healthcare, access to justice, corruption, security, among others, Ghana's DOC's mechanism gives the community ownership of the APRM. A lot of the questions were done in the rural areas. So whatever uh, was said was the true reflection of the one who is uh, giving the answers. To make the findings useful to the districts, the reports are tabled before each district assembly to enable them to engage with their communities. Here, representation by all interest groups, traditional rulers, civil society, religious, gender, youth and minority groups, schools, market women, assembly members and the district chief executive is the cream of the process. By this, the process of preparing the report illustrates a bottom-up democratic participation. I just want to suggest that next time when they are going to the field to solicit this kind of information, those who are going, they should try to improve on their skills. The frankness, the openness of the questions and the willingness of officials to listen to this open and frank criticism and questions was amazing. I was very, very impressed about that and I think that's the way forward. Eventually, this people-owned, driven and managed process initiated in the communities will culminate in a national validation exercise. The outcome forms the basis of Ghana's 2009 Annual Progress Report. This, His Excellency the President, committed to the process, is due to present the Progress Report to the next AU Heads of State Summit in January 2010. Ghana is by this initiative setting the pace for the rest of Africa in deepening democratic governance and actualizing the vision to transform the old Africa of bad governance. We shouldn't expect all African countries to overnight see themselves as developing. Some will take the lead, some will follow later. We need to set a good example. So that when others see that we are doing the right things, it will convince them that the APRM is something good to be pursued.